Welcome to the show that takes up no more than five minutes of your time, but could help you gain massive real estate knowledge. It's Five Minutes in Real Estate with best selling author Shane Willis. Hello, it's Shane Willis, best selling real estate expert, bringing you today's episode. Happy Wednesday, everybody. It's definitely August because uh, it is muggy and hot. I got a little later start today, so walking the block is probably uh, 10 to 10 right now on Wednesday morning. Just to say, I'm sure even with this small block that I'm walking right now, I will be dripping in sweat by the time we're done. So, the normal complaint of me breathing a little heavier, maybe, maybe there. I don't know. We'll see. Um, today's going to be actually a quick one. And I might even get done before we walk the block. Ooh, there's somebody cutting the grass over there. So we're going to walk this way. Uh, I actually did this as a Wall Street Journal article. And I'm going to put a link to my other podcast that talked about it. Because there were some other things that I brought up in that other episode. Um, but somebody brought it to my attention again uh, over the past weekend. Over the past weekend. It's, uh, I don't know if it was over the past weekend or not. There's a couple of weddings coming up. And uh, that's what brought it to my attention. It said that there is a trend around the country uh, that talks about crowdfunding a down payment. You can't save for a down payment. Now, why not crowdfund it? Now, if you didn't listen to the other podcast, go click that link because there are some other ones that are really, really interesting ideas. Um, and I found it fascinating. Matter of fact, if I remember correctly, it was an interesting Saturday podcast episode, which I hardly ever record, but I read it in the Wall Street Journal on a Saturday and I wanted to talk about it. Um, But I did a little more research on it and there was a company out there, uh, oh, what's it called? Hang on, I'm looking at the notes. Home Fund Me. Home Fund Me. Um, And they have come up with an interesting idea and it was for couples getting married. And instead of the traditional gifts... People are asking to go to the Home Fund Me page and deposit for their down payment. So this does count as a gift. This can be showed to a lender as a gift. We're not expecting anything back. It means you won't have any sheets. Sorry. You have to take care of your own dishes. But I do believe that uh, getting a home first, getting a place to sleep, would be uh, the priority for pretty much any couple. But when I went and looked at it, I said the, it's the average wedding in the United States has 120 guests. 120 guests. Who give wedding gifts valued on average at $186. So 120 guests who give $186 a piece. That means a couple could walk away with about twenty-two grand. Twenty-two grand towards your down payment. So if you've got twenty-two thousand dollars towards your down payment, that's a heck of a wedding gift, and that's one way of crowdfunding that town down payment. Now, don't for don't forget, FHA only requires three and a half percent down. There are some conventionals that only require three, and I actually know of some separate conventional programs that are zero. But you do have closing costs involved, so you need to pay attention to those, and sometimes that crowdfunding will actually help there. But gone are the days where you have to have 20% down to buy your first home. Um, if you get that $22,000 and you're buying a $150,000 property, you can still put 5 or 10% down, uh, cover all your closing costs, or if you get a good negotiator to help you out, i.e. me, and we may be able to get the seller to pay most of those closing costs anyways. So then you get more equity into the property, and you may even have some money left over to buy some sheets and dishes. Anyways, it's a fun way to to look at it. It's a creative way to look at saving for that down payment, which seems to be one of the biggest hurdles for most people when they're buying their first home. I was fascinated with the Wall Street Journal article, and then when someone brought it up to me again, um, I just wanted to chat about it again, especially since I found Home Fund Me. Go listen to that other one. Like I said, I'm going to put a link in the show notes. Go listen to that other episode, because that other episode actually talked about some other ways, some other companies out there that were very, very unique ways of doing it. All right, that's all I got for you today. We might actually hit the five-minute mark today. 
as always, if you don't subscribe, you get the tips, tricks, graphics, info, info graphics. You know where to find me. That's in realestate.com. Also, you make sure you like the Facebook page, facebook.com forward slash Shane Willis, the realtor. Get over to your player of choice. Hit subscribe. Give me a heart. Give me a thumbs up. We're on iTunes. We're on Google Play. We're on Spotify. We're on Stitcher. We're on YouTube. We're on them all. And if you know of one that we're not on, well, let me know. Send me a message. I'll get on it. And finally, as always, I never ask for any money for these things, although it does cost me money to make them. I do, however, ask that if I found value in this, whether it be a chuckle or not, that you share it on social media. We didn't make the five minutes again. Oh, well. Have a great Wednesday.